Hey guys, it's Chantel here from Fiverific with another weekly live chat. If you don't want to miss these videos, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button. And if you like what we do here, click the like, thumbs up, do it. It's great. Uh, I have had a week off, I'm sorry to say. I was feeling really, really crook and it just, you know, it didn't go well. It was an interesting time for me and um, my daughter brought home a cold from school and I really got hammered with it. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. Uh, I'm just going to refresh something. According to one system, it says I'm live. According to another, it says I am not. So I'm just going to refresh and have a look. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Um, welcome, welcome to the chat, everybody. Oh, there we go. Um, so um, the buttons, the buttons. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, Rebecca, what is a PCA? Just out of curiosity, I'm not quite sure. Um, hey, Kim, welcome back. We missed you as well. Um, and Andrea, we missed you too. Um, I'm not sure what Kim's oh my godding about. Uh, morning, Allegra. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it today. Um, so, all right, buttons. We'll talk about the buttons. I bring in um, a lot of buttons and I tend to only sell them at live events like craft shows and, and um, Bendigo and things like that. Um, and the, the reason I don't normally put them on the website, it's a lot of work because I'll get like, you know, one pack of buttons. Oops, there we go. I'll get like a pack, say of these little elephants and I'll have 50 buttons. So that'll come out to be about five packs because I do put five in a, in a pack. And, um, and so I'll have to make up a whole listing just for the five, but I've realized that it might actually be worth it because um, I just, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things where I don't get around to as many craft shows as I used to. Um, so, you know, it might be worth me getting more of this sort of stuff up onto my website. I do normally try to keep some special things for those that make the effort to come to these events, but because I don't make the efforts to go to the events. Yes. Yeah, sorry, Kim. I've still got my, I'm still sick basically. And I've still got fog. So yeah, five pack, five and a pack, 10 packs. You're quite right. Sometimes there's more. Sometimes I get like a hundred packs or 200 packs. It depends on what I can get when I'm putting my order in. Um, and so, you know, like there's so many really cute ones. Like I really like these ones. Like, where are we? Can you see that? Is it going to focus? It's not going to focus. Let's see if we can get it to focus here. So no, no, it hates us. This camera's being a bit naughty today. It won't focus properly. So you can kind of just get the general feel for what things look like. Anyway, I have literally, literally thousands of buttons in big bags. Um, and I was wondering, you guys, if you could tell me, do you think, oops, hang on a second. I just about reported my own channel. Do you think that it's worth, do you think I should put these up onto my web store so that they can be added into people's orders and things like that? So let me know. All the wood looking ones, mine. Hmm. Well, Kim, considering that I've got probably 30 or 40 packets, I mean, they're only a dollar a packet. So, I mean, that's not beyond the realms, honestly. Um, am I going crafters tonight? If all goes to plan, absolutely. Um, I've been getting better day to day, getting better, getting better, which is nice. I had a very rough week last week. It was not fun. I don't like being sick. Who likes being sick? I know I certainly don't. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that I'm just, oh, hang on, I think someone's knocking at my door. No, no, not someone's knocking it. Maybe a selection of buttons and have some be market stall exclusive. Actually, that's a really good idea. Special ones just for the market stalls. Um, because I do, it's, hey Tara, how are you going? Welcome to the chat. Sorry you can't stay long. Lots of people can't stay long today. I'm going to see how I go. If I start to fade, I might scoot out early too. Um, I don't want to run it for an hour and a half with half an hour of it being me just going because that would be no fun for anybody at all ever ever um, 
you could browse my selection on Tuesday. Speaking of Tuesday, for those of you that aren't aware, fiberhook has got a mystery lace club. And the first box is shipping out Tuesday for those of you that jumped in early and, and you know, helped to boost my, my um, sort of, um, yeah, boosting my, well, not ego, but confidence, boosting my confidence that it was actually a good idea. Um, and so I, um, yeah, so Tuesday was shipping out that first box for those people that ordered ages and ages and ages ago. It must feel like an eternity ago, Kim. Um, and then also on Tuesday the 20th is the cutoff if you want to be in the April box. So if, well, not if you want to be in it, but if you want to get the April box. So if you are thinking about joining in, then you need to jump in soon. So that's all I was going for for that. Um, Allegra says, I'm looking forward to seeing spoilers from the Lace Club. Well, they'll be coming very soon. I'm sure Kim, who has already informed me that she'll be banging on my door here first thing Tuesday morning, um, I'm sure Kim will be posting some photos and I will share those over onto my social media if I have Kim's permission, that is. Um, Shanti said, I'm not allowed to post show spoilers until everyone's received their boxes. Well, I mean, like maybe give it a day or two like you know give them a chance give them a chance <laughs> um you can absolutely do it privately so that you know you guys can do you know what we know yeah do it privately if, if you can kim that would be great if you could message allegra and show her sneaky sneaky pictures um and then you just could squee together um Oh, absolutely. There's a spoiler thread that I put over on Ravelry. Good call, Allegra. I totally forgot I put that up there. Um, you can totally put it in the spoiler thread on Ravelry straight away, Kim, if you want. Anyone can. Um, and that way people know um, that don't look in that thread if they don't want their surprise ruined. Uh, so, yeah. So that's all exciting. And I've, I've been finalizing some little bits and making some pretty packaging and, you know, um, all that sort of thing. I like the ones I took at the wedding. I don't remember seeing those, but I'm sure that they probably were. And yes, I did see your oh my god about the uh, messages that they'll come up. Um, so those of you that don't know, from here on in, basically in our live chat, if it wasn't on the screen, you couldn't see it um, in a replay. But now they're making YouTube are adding in. Well, they've added in this function that means that the live chat will show up basically as it is now for you guys, for those who are watching in the live, who are watching in the replay. Sorry, my brain is just very foggy today. And I've just realized my voice is already starting to go. Um, ooh, a Ravelry thread, I must have a look. See, it's pretty empty. It's pretty empty, but I, I popped in some threads, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, for some chatting and also a spoiler thread. I think I've got the spoiler. I, I did put a spoiler thread in, didn't I, Allegra? If not, there'll be one there by the end of the day. I've got to write myself a note. Check that a spoiler thread exists. Spoiler thread. So did anybody get up to anything yet yesterday's Pi Day? So like I know Pi Day is um, totally, it's a big thing in the US because of how their date um, formatting is. So it was 314 for them. But for us, it was 143. So technically not Pi Day here. So I, I totally forgot. I didn't do anything. Did I eat anything even resembling pie? I didn't even think I ate anything round. Am I? Nope. Nope. Uh, an apple. Does that count? Um, just watch out, Allegro. It might get canned. So you can get rid of your chat window now so you don't accidentally scroll the wrong window. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, I keep the chat window open just in case because it's good to see uh, what's going on. But because I have uh, my phone is running, running it as well. Um, so it's running on a separate network so that I can monitor it without using up the same bandwidth, which was part of the problem before. Um, yeah, so I had no pancakes, I had nothing. Oh, Allegra's on it. Full link was noped, but you can do a partial partial link. That's brilliant. I love it. Um, and I'm glad to see, I'm going to cross the spoiler thread note off my list because Allegra has confirmed I am on the ball for a change. Um, 
so I'm just having a look here. I did, I did talk about the Lace Club, so I can cross that off my list. And if you want to guarantee a place for the April Club, you have to be booked in by the 20th of March. Um, we talked about these lovely buttons going up onto my website. And I actually really like Allegra's idea, which was <laughs> put up a few, uh, put up a few and, and rotate them around and make them different to make people keep coming back. That's very clever business. I'm going to write it down. So buttons. and rotate there'll be a couple that i leave up there because i've got some of these really cool massive like huge buttons as well these are just little 25 mil buttons which are pretty standard size um but um so kim did you want me to bring buttons tonight or do you want to wait until tuesday so i don't because i don't know i don't know <laughs> um don't forget to hit the like button oh absolutely there's uh, as far as I can see, that's, I mean, and I don't know how up to date this is, but there's 13 people watching and only four people have hit the like button. So that's very disappointing to me. <laughs> you can wait until Tuesday. Oh, that's good. Hang on one second, guys. Sorry. Saves your carting around. Yes, absolutely. If we can save me carting stuff around. So I do have knitting here today, guys. I've got some little, I might just move these buttons up there I'm working on some socks at the moment the camera has really dulled down this green let me tell you because it's really there we go that's that's closer to the truth right there it's really bright it was my fail green which meant that when I'm making my chickadee cardigan I wanted to to do some um hang on I'll just see if I can refresh um when I was doing my chick, well, I'm still working on the chickadee sweater, but I wanted some green. Um, yeah, mine's all, I've refreshed it and it's come up. Um, and I was dying it and I'm thinking, this feels weird. This is the green I wanted, but I did it on the four ply sunflower instead of the eight ply Andromeda. So, you know, stupid. So I've scored myself. I, I was like, I don't, I haven't been like getting myself any sort of yarn much lately. Here we go. I'll hold it up here because this is definitely better for colour right now. The other camera is being a bit of a butt. I don't know what's I don't know what its problem is. Um, and so I've got those there to work on, but I honestly don't think I'm going to get much craft done today, just because my brain's not quite here, um, and I don't want to try and focus on too many things at once. I'm actually struggling a little bit just to focus on conversation. So. Um, please forgive me for not crafting in the crafty cam today. Um, so Allegra has written, oh, what a shame, a gorgeous green on a lovely base. Your sunflower base is seriously love. Heart. Yes, I've like I've got a serious soft spot in my heart for this sunflower base. I'm really lucky to be able to get it. I get it from an Australian mill um, and I'm just so happy with it. Like I just love how it dies. I love how it feels when you use it so many things I love about this yarn that it just feels like an ad if I go on so I'm not going to <laughs> but I do love it and and I tend to it's I tend it tends to be my go-to for anything like if I'm testing out new colors like hello color behind me um if I'm trialing a pattern I try it in four ply because I like I like four ply four ply is good for me it's nice weight here for Brisbane it means you get to have some nice pretty things without it being too bulky and heavy. In saying that, I've been on a bit of an Andromeda kick lately and been using lots of eight ply. Um, so, but yeah, so I thought I should cast something on with this this beautiful yarn. And I'm a member of a, um, a, a what's it called? The Handmade Sock Society. They put out a, ages and ages ago, I didn't even remember that I'd subscribed. And, um, it was like to get a pattern a month or a pattern every two months or something for a set period of time and it was ridiculously cheap and I thought if I even get one pattern one pattern that I like out of all of these ones then I'm going to be really happy and it just so happened the first pattern is really really cute it's called winter rose socks so if um someone wants to someone being Kim Kim if you want to grab a link for the winter rose socks by Helen Stewart off Ravelry that'd be great if not I'm just gonna I'll chuck a link over in um, the fiberific fun zone later 
Um, now, for those people who had been sitting there waiting for me to approve you into the Fibrific Fun Zone, I'm so sorry. I don't seem to get notifications when people want to join, which is weird because I get notifications in other groups where I'm not an admin of people wanting to join. So I'll have to have a look into the settings, but you've all, you've all been like allowed. No one's a spammy McSpammer pants that I could see. Um, so, you know, they'll be coming. Let's move some of these back around. Oh, look at this one. We'll put this, some of these ones down the bottom this time. There we go. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to bring that up, make sure I'm not missing anything. Hi, Jennifer, how are you going? Um, so yeah, so just double checking that I'm not missing any comments. Um, oh, hang on, don't do that. Go away. Thank you. Whoops, don't touch the things. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have, um, there we go, that's done. That's done, that's done. Well, you know what? Uh, make sure you right click. Oh, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. So that's the pattern um, that I you am using for this particular yarn of deliciousness. See, look at that. That makes it look so dull. It's so not dull. There you go. That's actually really close. Anyway, um, come on, yarn. You can be in the shot too, even though you're dull. Um, so yeah, so I've actually spoken about everything off my list already. Oh man, I, I wrote more stuff on my list, but maybe things just, you know, went quicker. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, you guys. Um, so yeah, I've got exciting, exciting stuff coming out with this Mystery Lace Club. I've been having so much fun. And now, now just to upset all of you who didn't get into the, um, into the March one, the very first one, there's an extra little pri uh, prize, no, extra little prezi from me to say thank you. Um, so those of you getting the Mystery Lace Clubs, don't be expecting this every month. No, I'm kidding. No, well, don't, don't, don't expect it every month. Uh, <laughs> at least not to this, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna give anything away. Um, well, not too much. I'll try not to give too much away. Kim's gonna be doing spoilers for anybody interested. Um, that actually reminds me, I could even post spoilers in the spoiler thread. I could do like a photo shoot, put a little video up. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, so we've got, what have we got? I am so not with it, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, it doesn't help that the air conditioning is out and we're waiting on the landlords to come and fix it, at, fix it up now because the boys can't fix it anymore. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those things. So I'm sure you can probably hear lots of extra noise today because I'm having to leave doors and things open that I would normally close just because otherwise I'm going to suffocate and die. Can't have that. Um, so yeah, so, um, let me think. I feel like I've been dying, like not dead dying, but dying as in changing the color of yarn, um, a week, which is really good from it's, no, it's not from the rain. Oh, the air conditioner. Yeah, the air conditioner is from the rain. The boys jumped up there this week and they actually have fastened it down. But I think it was too late. I think the damage is done now. Now it's shorting out the the um, uh, the fuse, the safety switch, the safety switch. It's flicking its safety switch back all the time. So I think there might be lots and lots of waters inside of it. Um, so we'll be not dealing with that. So yeah, so that's been a bit of a comedy of errors on the old air conditioning front here. But no, at, so I've been at home, I've been off crook mostly. Um, and then as I sort of could function, I would pop in and post out orders and then go back home again. And then um, this week I've sort of been hanging around at home mostly. Um, but I also have been getting a bit of dyeing done. So I've got some extra Milky Way coming in. Um, it's all got to be reskinned and made pretty and everything yet, but there's some things coming because um, we can't just have, you know, all the yarn for the mystery lace clubbers. That's not right. Did you guys want to see this this yarn here that I've got hanging up? I'm not sure if you're interested or not. Um, dropping early, drilling happening on this floor, so I'm retreating to cake o'clock. See you later, Allegra. Retreat away. I totally understand. Um, have fun, folks. Catch you next week. Yes, we'll see you next week, hopefully. Um, 
so yeah so yeah let me know if you want to see this yarn that's hanging up here uh, that one there and I will reach over all the way, all the way back there I have to move to go and get it it's further away than it looks uh, <coughs> sorry no laughing no laughing is allowed Abby's back at school she's all good she cleared up real fast but that's generally what happens is she brings it home then gives it to me and I've got it for ages because I've got a stupid immune system show the yarn you reckon you reckon Kim do you, do you think I should show the yarn um, I'm not sure if you mean actually show the yarn or show the yarn or show the yarn hang on <laughs> have the yarn do you want to see the yarn I'm not sure if she does I'm just not a hundred percent certain hang on it's a little it needs these are all hanging to be re-skeined before they get added to the website I'm just making it pretty because I dropped it on the ground love it when kids share their journey is this the lace no this is not the lace club yarn that's not being shown until next week because the boxes go out next week and the people who get the boxes get the boxes get the yarn first so all right that makes sense that made sense didn't it that was actual english language you know this is a bit a bit messy but there we go this is the yarn what it's a variation on sif so if anyone's seen my sif color i was trying to update it a little bit i'm not sure how i feel about it I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's going to be the new SIF. I think it's going to be a not SIF. Sell these five and then move on. Um, so the Lace Club yarn won't be shown until next week. Um, as we were discussing earlier, um, we're going to pop some pictures up in the Ravelry group, for Fibrific Ravelry group, um, where there's spoilers. So we can put the spoilers up there. Um Oh, you guys like it? Oh, that's good. It's a bit of Sif and a bit Barton. Um, no Barton. Oh, there's none of the Barton colours in it, but it seems to have gone. Well, I mean, that, I mean that showed it to be a little purpley, but it's a bit more. Hang on, we'll see if this one does it justice. It's. I don't know. It is a little bit more burgundy than purpley. Does that make sense? I don't know how to describe that and that camera is just really annoying me now um this is on sunflower sock as well so sorry kim it's on wool um as i said i test everything out on the sunflower sock yarn because i love it and if it doesn't work or if it's an accident i get to keep it <laughs> um hey stacy how are you going um I mean, I've got to message you. Remind me to message you after this live stream. Message Stacy. Um, yeah, it's a bit plummy. Plummy and grey and um, you nearly missed the live again. Oh, no, Kirby, but you've made it. We've only been going for about 20 minutes. You've got, you haven't missed much of it at all. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little plummy. It's a little... I don't know it's probably see sif has got a lot more like actual gray spots and this doesn't really have any just plain gray it's all sort of lilac-y and purpley colors rather than any actual gray how oh that's right kim stacy's getting a roof reno um so yeah so we've got i've got all of that um so i've done that one now I've got some Milky Way silk that's not here. It's it's still at home drying because I dyed it yesterday. Um, so yeah, and I think that's it. I mean, I did a big pile. <laughs> They're up there now making a lot of noise. Oh, I know the feeling. Um, I actually did a big pile of Storm. Like, do you guys remember what Storm looks like? That's, that was part of the sock kit. I had someone who wanted just some Storm for themselves. So I just dyed up some extra storms. Also, I was out of storm totally for the sock kit. Hey, Crochet O'Clock, how are you going? 
Um, so yeah, so I've got some nice dark greys available again, which is good. Um, I don't want to put that there. I'll just put them there for now. Uh, yeah, so rainbow sock kits, it's right. So there's, I mean, there's still, there's still all the rainbows there. I just have to continue, continue to keep dyeing the greys. Um, heaps of the heaps of the um, overcast and heaps of the fog. Um, Kim still has a uh, oh that's right you have one of the original Storms games, so you, I've been trying to replicate that ever since. That one was the best one I reckon personally, in my opinion. I've tried very hard to get close. Um, I've got like a little mini skein in that original grey, and I try to match to that, and I'm just. I'm not quite sure what I did to get it, if I'm being truly honest. I've got the dye, the exact dye. It's in the same dye pot, like the little container of the unmixed dye. And I'm following my recipe. But anyway, there's something not quite... I think there's... I, I was doing a different um, pre-dye process that I can't do anymore. So I think that might have made a difference, which is a shame. Um, so... Yes, it's been, hang on, I've just got, I just want to see what that is. Oh, someone sent me a message, Jennifer. Um, <laughs> I'll have to look at that later. Um, Andrew says, I love my storm in my rainbow socks. I was reading a post on, me too, sorry, Andrew, you're right. But you reminded me of something. I was reading on a, a post on, um, on Facebook and, um, hang on a second, that's being a bit naughty. I was reading on a post on Facebook and they, it's buffering. Yeah, that's what I was getting as well. Um, and they were talking about, oh, I want to make something and I don't know what colours go with grey. And I was just like, all colours go with grey, right? So is everybody still buffering? Um, I'm definitely buffering here. So I'm not sure... I mean, the weather here is not good, guys. We are on a tail. We've got, what have we got? We've got X subtropical cyclone Linda is throwing her weight around, basically. Oh, come on. Don't be naughty. Oh, dear. Um, that's dropped right down to bad. Oh, no, yes. I can't see the internet. I'm going to go and check my internet thing to see if anything's happened to that. So hang on. Well, it's saying I have four bars. No, nope, it's changed its mind. Here we go. Um, no, Kim, I don't think you did a bad word in the chat. I just think it's being a bit naughty. Um, let me look here. I've got... I've got really good signal on my outgoing. Okay, it's all picking back up again. So hopefully you guys have still got me around. Um, oh, there we go. We're catching. Everything's catching up. I can hear you now, but the video is freezing. Yep, I can see what's happening. Um, it's coming through. I just think it's catching up on all the and all the stuff. Anyway, yeah, so what I was saying before all this stuff started happening on this end was that... Um, Someone had a com had someone had commented in one of the Facebook groups. I can't remember which one, um, saying that it was um, uh, that th they're wondering what colours to use with grey, and they just didn't want to mess it up. And I was like, every colour grows with grey, and then popped up a picture um, of the grey socks. Um, and so yeah, hey Kalia, how are you going? Um, so 
yeah, so in this group, it was like all of a sudden everyone realized, hang on a second, because people were like, oh, blue looks good with grey, or this looks good with grey, and all this sort of thing. Um, yeah, so uh, so that everybody knows, the internet that my stream goes through was playing up for a second, but it looks to be good again now. Um, I, I, I'm, you know, fingers crossed. We, but we, and I was, I was saying during the, the nightmare that it was bad, um, was that we're having some really crazy weather here in Brisbane. So if anyone wants to hit up a uh, weather map of Australia, you'll see there's an ex-tropical cyclone just off the coast and just a couple of hours north of us. So we're getting a lot of overcast. We've got all the all the Gold Coast beaches are closed, things like that. So, you know, it's, it's a bit crazy out there, people. Um, I'm surprised there's people on a roof right now, actually. <laughs> over at Stacy's place the roofers are up there hopefully they're tied down um, <laughs> okay so wow this is this is everyone's all good now everyone I'm all back in sync for everybody everyone's happy I feel really guilty right that I'm not crafting today but I just can't my brain's just not in it I actually haven't been able to knit all week I've been spinning um but not knitting my in-laws are up the coast having a week at the beach <laughs> they picked a good week for it didn't they um that's funny but um it's it's one of those things but yeah so i've been spinning i'm not sure if any of you guys follow me over on instagram i know some of you definitely do um i posted a photo of some some fiber that i spun do you remember ages and ages and ages ago when I used to live stream from home and I was live streaming some of Nikki's, um, uh, I was live streaming, spinning some of Nikki's uh, gradient sparkle sock. That's what it was, gradient sparkle sock. Well, I actually finally finished that. Like I had to, I my little electric wheel had gotten dropped and I needed to do a bit of a, you know, jiggery pokery and glue some bits back together um and because i think it got dropped more than what i was told it got dropped <coughs> excuse me um and so i was um uh, so i fixed that all back up and finished that spin off so i posted some photos over on instagram of that yarn that's all finished and then yesterday i think it was i picked the next fluff i'm gonna start spinning so I'm still also at the same time um, working on another, there's another photo on Instagram where um, I am learning how to ply on the fly. Um, so I've got a Scott Snyder spindle, which if you can get your hands on his spindles, they are amazing. Actually, I don't see why you can't get your hands on them. He makes heaps. Um, I've got a glider, which has got like, it's nice and it's a Turkish style and it's it's nice and light but it's got like nice long arms and if you want to do ply on the fly having good long arms is really helpful but you also don't want it too heavy like anything with spindling i'm not saying who dropped it because there is there is he said she said over who dropped it um the spindle thing with the cross at the bottom that's right that's exactly right that's a turkish um so yeah so I'm still working on the ply on the fly. I've got, I think I've got about a hundred grams of the fluff that I'm gonna try and get that done with. Um, you know, I try not to do anything in halves, but I also don't do it all at once either. So I'm just doing little bits at a time and sort of perfecting that technique. Um, and, and I'm really enjoying that process actually. Although I definitely prefer support spindling and if I could work out a way to support spindle fly on the fly, I would be doing a dance um totally doing a dance so if anyone knows of any videos or anything like that that has support spindling ply on the fly um that would be good but you know i'm a big girl and my arms are real heavy and so you know drop spindling with your arm in the air constantly gets a bit tiring um it's actually good for your lungs to have your arms up it opens your lungs up oh no Kirby says she's 40 cents short of being able to get a large chow goo set. Now you've got to wait till next pay and hope it's still there. <gasps> that is such a shame. That's such a shame. Oh, fingers crossed it's still there for you next time. 
Um, you're in the US, so I don't think it's me that you're trying to get it from, because if it was, I'd be like, um, don't worry about the 40 cents. So, uh, but yeah. Wow. And by large set, you mean the complete set? Because there's a large set as well as a complete set. There's two different ones. So make sure you're getting the one you want. Um, but yeah, so I've been spindling. I've been spinning. I've been knitting a little bit of my chickadee jumper, but not a lot because I do have to think about that one a bit, even though it is just, I'm just on the gray now, I'm not on any color work, but the pattern changes and you've got to do this. Now nah, the five, oh, okay, yeah, so actually the large set, so cool. Um, so yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's, my brain can't seem to just hold a thought, which is driving me insane. Um, which it's basically, my brain is currently running how our live streams run, except constantly. So it's like looking at this, looking at that, looking at this, saying this, doing this, but it's not taking anything in. <laughs> so um, I finished the popcorn blank. Oh, I saw, that looks beautiful. I love it. Um, I, I think it's just gorgeous work. Your brain is laggy due to the weather. No, my brain is laggy due to the fact I'm sick. And oh, and that pink bag with the blue lining in that, is it the Japanese fabric or the Chinese fabric? I can never remember which one that is. It's that silky stuff with the embroidered flowers. I love that stuff. Um, I've been sewing an 1800 styles dress for my daughter. Wow. And, and now I'm making a granny stitch tunic top for a six year old. Was there a sneaky preview of the Lace Club for this month? I missed last month so much. Well, actually, Carlia, this this one that's posting out on Tuesday is the first one. So um, the, the sign-ups for the first month ran longer than usual, um, just to give people time, really. Um, and, you know, and sort of for me to get a feel if people are actually interested in it. And they are, so it's cool. So the actual first club is shipping out next Tuesday. Um, and there'll be some photos of that uh, a spoiler photos going into the Ravelry spoilers thread um, on the Fiberific forum, Fiberific group and Ravelry. Did that make sense? Please tell me that made sense. Um, silk Bricard, Oriental Satin Bricard. Okay, cool. All right. I'm, yes, I know the one. I know the one now. Yes. But yes, I saw the photo of that and I thought it looked amazing. Um, I also sewed a bag, which I can't talk about too much because it's a gift for somebody. Um, and I, what else have I done? I've been doing lots of dyeing and I think that's what my brain's trying to focus on at the moment. Um, I wove in all the ends of my blanket, finally. That blanket, finished. I've got to work out how to take a nice photo of it. I don't want to just lay it out in my gloomy bedroom. I want to put it somewhere pretty. So I'm trying to style a photo. Like me and styling photos is really bad. Um, oh, thank you, Kim. Um, uh, Kim popped a link up for the Ravelry spoiler page. So I appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I, I've got to, I see all these, like seriously, I see these other people who do these beautiful, beautiful shots for their businesses on Instagram. And they're yarn crafters as well, like uh, Fringe and Bow. She does some gorgeous photo layouts. And like, there's just, I, 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 I screen cap them or bookmark them because I look at them going, why can't I do stuff like that? Um, so I've got to practice my, um, I've got to practice my sort of layout photos of when I'm showing off things to make them pretty, not just on a white background. Like the white backgrounds are good for basic product shots so that it's really clear what you are and are not getting. But when it comes to like something like a blanket I finished, then yeah, you need a big open carpet rug to spread it out on. So if you have a look at um, like the yarn companies when they do a blanket, they actually drape it over like a chair. Um, and more like, more like a, not quite a dining chair, but more like that sort of chair than a, than a couch. But yeah, I got to work it out and I'm going to use my fireworks blanket to learn how to do that. But that is finished. That's so all ends are woven in done. So that only took how long? <laughs> Actually, I don't even think I posted in Ravelry that I finished it. Cause it was like, yes, it's finished and threw it onto the other couch and pulled some other craft into my lap. Um, 
having the carpet rug underneath helps because the blanket sticks it's sort of like felt like other kids felt boards is that right hang on a second you guys i just need to wipe my nose so yeah so i just want to do this again i really like this yarn it's not quite i think that's showing up to be really really purple but it's not yeah you can't wait to a ladder style tower rack yeah that sort of thing the ladder style tower rack um crochet clock says i just bought the stuff i need to make myself a massive light box because i don't have one but i struggle with photos too yeah i don't use a photo box because i've got um the lighting that i use for my videos i actually just turn it to the other wall and i've got white seamless on a bench thing and i i do it up that way i don't actually use a, a light box i've got a little little one like a, i think it's about 45 by 45 um um and that's good for like blinglets and stuff that's tiny but for big stuff i find a light box doesn't work too well for me um kirby says i ironically i just bought some chavy cables and adapters for my vintage boy interchangeable set i had no idea they fitted there you go um yes like kim says like those kids felt boards but it means you can stretch it out to square it off ah good point and stays where you put it rather than just sliding around well i'm gonna have a play i'm gonna see what i can do um i mean i've got space here i can i've got a whole room i could use for styling that i haven't even like because those of you that have been to fiberific hq there's a room that's got a round table in it and like the table idea is good except the chairs are not safe to sit on so i'm going to get the, the shed boys to take that table out and i want to set that room up like a bit more of a um not so much a blogging room but like a sit on a comfy couch kind of job like sit on like a wing chair with a camera so nearly like blogging nearly like blogging and just do some videos like that but then you can also use that couch in that corner that i would make up to be all pretty um then i would um then i could you know style that up but anyway uh, or i could use the fishbowl well i've got plans for the fishbowl i've got plans for the fishbowl uh, for the vintage set they don't you have to combine boy adapters with chow goo adapters to make them fit the chow goo cables originally boy cables are terrible oh okay lots of windows for natural light yeah, natural light is good for photography not so good for videoing and making youtube videos because you can't control it um, and if you can't control that light coming in you can also have troubles with that as well so natural lighting is good for some product shots but even then i still prefer box lighting um, but natural lighting is good if you want to sit and try out some equipment right in a comfy couch test out a spinning wheel i've got to save up and buy a comfy couch right <laughs> so i've got to save up and buy some furniture i've actually been looking at um there's a springwood place um i have a local furniture store that i take my afghans to for photo photographing lots of different sets or um yeah andrew says yeah there's oh sorry i just mumbled through that crochet clock has got a furniture store that she takes her afghans to for photo photographing lots of different sets already pre-made there that's actually a good point ikea is your friend yeah um i'm actually looking at uh springwood has a tender disposals place and so you can sort of just pick up like you know a nice wing chair or a bucket chair or something fairly inexpensive um so i'm gonna have keep having a look there um but at the moment i'm saving my precious pennies precious i'm saving my precious pennies to go towards um building the new website so that i don't have to deal with it crashing and not letting me change the home page um, so if anyone notices that exactly the same things are on the home page all the time except for like the blog posts and stuff like that that is because i can't do anything about it it is there's a problem and they can't fix it and i can't fix it so it's it has to be a complete theme change and to change a theme is a pain in the butt and so because i don't want that to ever happen again i am jumping ship and moving to a different company um andrew says i love my comfy couch it's my craft couch i tell the kids to get off it all the time it's got all my supplies close by and it's under a fan it's where i watch live chat too we've got to have our nests all right 
Um, I've got a chair, we've got a lounge suite at home. It was a two seater and a three seater. I've bags the two seater, I have the whole thing. One seat is full of like craft bags and headphones and all the things that I use while I'm crafting. And then it's like a direct line to the television so I can have, I actually stream my crafts classes on the telly um, and I'll have those running or I'll watch Netflix or something. And I've got my footstool and I'm very, I've got a PowerPoint right at my sort of side so I can charge my laptop or my phone or whatever. Um, and last night actually, Abby commented that, cause she did, Tim and her fight over ends of this couch. No one likes to sit in the middle and Abby likes to sit at one end and actually they both like to sit at the same end. And so whoever gets there first gets it. And last night Abby was like, well, it's not fair that mum gets to have a whole couch to herself. Um, here we go. The reject shop is selling those Scandi style gray armchairs with the wooden arms for $59. Yeah, see, that's they also make those for Scandi size butts. So um, I tend to avoid the single seat chairs at Ikea because they're too narrow and I can't get comfy. So yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll go and have a look because it could be wrong and it might be a different chair and that would be cool. Oh, speaking of butts, I was sitting on the edge of this chair, right? And now I've gone numb. So I just wiggle around. That's why I'm wiggling you guys. Hey, Nerdy Stitcher, welcome to the chat. Um, oh gosh, sorry guys. I'm trying not to sniffle, I really am. For photo styling, not sitting. Oh, Kim, honestly, I can't afford either space or the money for something that can't do double duty. Um, it's got to be able to be used for sitting and for styling and sitting by me because I'm probably the one who's going to sit in at the most. Speaking of sitting, I need a new office chair as well. My office chair is getting a bit on the old rickety side and it's not raising up properly and it's not dropping back down properly. Anyway, you guys don't need to hear about the woes of me and my seating arrangements. Um, I don't sit in our lounge room. The couch is not comfy and the kids always watch silly. Uh, see, I've only got one living area in my house. So that's it. It's a lounge room or nothing or my bedroom. And I don't have a room for a chair in my bedroom. So it's sit on the bed, which uh, it's not terrible, but I prefer to sit upright more when I'm crafting. And when I sit on the bed, I tend to like go and scratch down, scratch. New word for today, everybody is scratch. Um, I scrunch down when I'm sitting on the bed for some reason. I just, I don't know why. So yeah, but one living area. So one TV in the lounge. Um, oh, you guys, speaking of the land, I watched a series on Netflix this week called Ghost Wars. I enjoyed it up until, I don't know, like episode eight or nine, nine probably. And it's not that I didn't, in my opinion, they went off, they went off script. They started out really good. It was a little bit terrifying. Like, don't get me wrong. This is not a show for children. Um, and then it just sort of went like, what? Uh, what am I watching? Why am I watching this? And I, I only ended up watching it to the end because I wanted to finish the season. Um, so I'm hoping, uh, a, a, apparently a season two might be coming. So I'm hoping the season two goes back to how it was at the beginning of season one rather than the end. So we'll see. But it was good and I enjoyed it and it killed some time for me. Hang on. I started watching Grimm on Netflix. Grimm is fantastic. Um, I heard a rumor that it's been canceled though. So I think there's only six or seven seasons, um, which I mean like in reality, six or seven seasons is pretty darn good. So um, I'm not going to complain, but it's just because I really like the characters on Grimm. So it's kind of sad that I won't get to see them. I mean, I'll just keep re-watching it, but I won't get to see them do new stuff. Um, so, hey, Nerdy Stitcher, are you back again? Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's one of those things. I'm just going to drop this so I can look at that. Yes, so I can I just need to see the time. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to go for the hour and a half today, you guys. I'm just really um, not with it. Have you checked out the baking? I watched the first episode yesterday. It came up in the suggested things and I was just like, 
Oh my god. And I watched the first, not the whole first episode, but like bits of it. Like the first 10 minutes or something. And I'm like, oh my god. Ghost Wars, what is it about? It is about a war with ghosts. Um, so there's, it's a, it's an island town where the next nearest town is Anchorage, which is a couple of hours away. Um, so that once their bridge was, once they, like they have a bridge in and out of town, once the bridge is out, there's no way to get in and out. And the town was actually locked off. Bad things happened. People tried to fix it. But anyway, watch, watch the first episode. You'll either, you'll work out if you like it or not. I've been binging the hundred on Netflix and enjoying it. Yeah, I like the hundred. The hundred's good. Um, that's okay. You need to look after yourself and get better. Thank you, Andrea. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try and, and, and go for another 10 minutes. I got up the courage to unravel my botched tote bag project that I'd use Navajo infinite trick with. Now that I've definitely got a, now that I finally got a yarn one, I got four cakes of triple string yarn. I don't, I don't know what that means. Triple, four cakes of I don't know. You might, uh, my brain's not with it. So you're probably all good, Kirby, but my brain's like, what? Um, hang on. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it without giving anything away. Um, yeah, it's really, it was, it was, it's not something I normally would have watched. I don't normally do the thriller, scary stuff. I like sci fi and fantasy. Um, but the scary stuff, it, yeah, it doesn't quite work for me normally, but this one I was enjoying. Um, Kim says, yes, finish early so you can rest for tonight. Yeah, I'm really hoping I can come out tonight. I'll have to wait and judge. Abby needs me to go to the art supply store for a school project. So I've got to go to the Hyperdome briefly this afternoon, but I've told her very briefly, Abby, we're not going anywhere else. We're going in there and then getting back in the car and coming home. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I don't know if that will actually work that way. Man, I really do feel guilty that this camera is like, it takes up the majority of the screen and then it doesn't work. Um, Kalia's off to have brekkie. Nice, Kalia. Hey, um, I got notification from um, Chagu that the box should be arriving by the end of this week. So yay, I was getting worried because I hadn't heard anything and normally I would have heard, not the end of this week, the end of next week, sorry. Um, normally I would have heard something well before now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Kim says she's buffering. Kim, I can honestly say I'm not this time. Um, it's okay. I just didn't know if it was one of those ghosts. Oh no. Yeah. It's definitely fictional drama. Totally fictional drama. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. It's not one of those ghost investigation things. I can't deal with those. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm at this stage, knock wood, not buffering. So, and I'm, checking it on a Telstra connection. Um, so yeah, so oh, there's just so much stuff to do. Like I'm so excited about the yarn club and then I came up with a really thing, pretty thing to do. And it was just, it's something silly. It's just, a, it's just a thing to make it all pretty in the box. And I was like, totally need to do that. So I'm like, add more, add, add that to my checklist. Um, so yeah, so I've got a few things I need to do just to final, because it's not quite ready yet, Kim. So don't bother turning up early because it's not ready. Um, I was really hoping it would be ready by the end of this week to give me a couple of days buffer, but then I got sick. So I'm just trying to keep up now. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. I've got the next month's, the April box pattern is all gorgeous. And the designer is really excited. And um, we'll see how that goes. Um, oh yeah, it's fine for everybody else, so that's good. Sorry, Kim, it's just you this time. Um, so yeah, so I've got the next designer is really excited. I've, I've got designers all lined up until the end of September so far, and I've just got to send out some more emails. Um, I think I'm missing a gap in June, so I'll have to see what I can do. But I'm trying to change it up so it's not all the same style of finished item. Um, but it all includes lace, if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but that's okay. It's a secret surprise club. It's a mystery club. Um, 
Oh, Kim's router thought it was a good time to restart. Oh, I love it when they do that, when they get a mind of their own and decide to do things whenever they want. I've been having problems with mine at home. Um, it's just been doing the same thing. It drives me up the wall. I'll be in the middle of like, you know, like a really tense sec, the really tense thing on um, on Netflix, like Ghost Wars, and you'd be like, <gasps> and next thing you know, you get that Netflix is experiencing problems with this title. And you're just like, no. But anyway, um, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. I'm also excited. Oh, thank you, Crochet Clock. I hope, I hope that it is, how do I, how am I going to word this? I hope that I have built it up enough to be exciting, but not built it up so much that people would be disappointed. Does that make sense? Like overhyped it. I really like, cause I'm excited. I think it's great. Um, and I think it's really good value and I think it's, yeah, but I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm just nervous. That's all it is. I'm just a bit nervous about the whole thing. I've never done a club before. I've never had people sort of entrust other than you guys who pre-ordered sock clubs um, or sock kits. I've never really had anyone entrust me like this before with like access to just keep taking money out of their bank accounts really is what it boils down to. So I'm a bit like, I want to make sure this is so good for everybody. Um, so that I go, Oh no, no, no. Um, uh, my kids downloaded the Telstra TV app on their iPad. They think it's hilarious changing the settings when I'm watching Telstra TV. <gasps> oh, Tim and Abby went through a phase when we first got our current television where there was an app that you could use as a TV remote. Um, and then, um, yeah, it was, it wasn't good. They would change channels on each other all the time. Kirby says, I think I got the name wrong. Is it Navajo three ply used by spinners to get a, um, oh, to get a three ply yarn as you go? Yes. Um, can you also do it as you knit? So if you have a thinner yarn, yeah, you totally can. Sorry, thank you for clarifying that with me, Kirby. Yeah, so that you can get a um, three-ply yarn instead of a one or two-ply. Um, Jennifer says, I'm sure it'll be wonderful. I'm really looking forward to Tuesday. Any present is a good present. Excellent. Um, and as the cost comes out of the account long before, long before it, it seems like a present. Well, I hope so. <laughs> um Crochet Clock says, if it were me, I'd be physically ill with nerves. Well, because I'm physically ill, I can't actually tell if it's nerves or if it's just because I've got a cold. <laughs> Maybe having the cold right now is actually a good thing. Like, no, it's totally not. Um, Kim's looking forward to Tuesday too. I am just so, I'm just so like, oh, I can't wait for someone to see it other than me because nobody has seen it other than me to have a look at, um, sorry, someone just walked past and I'm like, you better not bang on my door, dude. Um, yeah, so no one's seen it. So for someone to actually see it and to, you know, for me to actually get some feedback for it, um, I'll be, I'll be excited. I just, yeah, I'm hoping it's good feedback. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's going to be exciting. I've got it going out to a few different, um, crafty uh youtubers and and bloggers and stuff as well so they can have a little unboxing and a, and a bit of a hopefully promo um and did so those of you oh good question i know some of you got the email but did those of you who are all members of the mystery lace club get an email from me yesterday um just want to double check that uh crochet <laughs> Oh, yes. It's one of them fun. So long as you, you, it's not orange. It is not orange or yellow. I would not do that for the first one. <laughs> I'd wait till you trust me and then send it like, ah, and it would be pretty orange or yellow anyway. So I make nice yellows and oranges, don't I, right? Jennifer got an email. Fantastic. Thanks, Jennifer. That's good to know. Um, yeah, so it's, oh, yeah, it's just... I think my brain is totally on a one track mind at the moment because I'm so like, it has to be ready Tuesday. Kim will be here knocking on the door Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, so short of a cyclone doing something evil, um, 
I would hope to think that everything's running to schedule. So it's run, it's all running pretty much to schedule according to the list I've, I've made myself a schedule with like little checkpoints and check off by this day and do this by this day. Um, so yeah, so exciting. Oh, that's right. Kim got an, e got an email and had to Google a flegal beater. Um, flegal beaters are an interesting, interesting concept. And I've got one and I've used one. I don't sell them. I get mine from Kathy's Fibers in South Australia. Um, so, um, but I, I just, I don't know, I prefer a crochet hook. I'm just used to it. And I think, and I worked out that I could actually do it faster if I did it with a crochet hook, just because my hands were used to using a crochet hook. It's all it came down to, personal preferentials. Um, I think I was hoping to have a video out for next week, but I don't like for, for some excuse me for some lace tips but with just me being sick for so much I just haven't had it recorded yet so I don't know if that's going to come out in time but anyway you guys I'm going to um I'm going to scamper I think um I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me today and chatting and trying to alleviate my fears and stresses of Tuesday um but yeah but I'm, I'm gonna scoot I'm gonna pack some orders and then I'm gonna go home and have a little nap maybe <laughs> that's my plan for today having a nap um you guys have a fantastic day or night and i'll catch you another time bye